And hi everyone, and welcome back to Wondershare Dr. Phone. I am Francisco, and I will be providing you with a quick guide to remove your Google account bypass from Samsung A20 and A20s. Now before we get started, do make sure to hit that subscribe button and push that bell icon for the latest updates on our channel. So come along. And as for part one, what is the default Android version of the Samsung A20 and A20s? Now, the Samsung A20 and A20s opened to the world in October 2019 and supporting the Samsung 9.0 or Pi version of Android. These mid-range smartphones from Samsung are able to be updated up to Android 11. And if you're looking to remove their FRP lock, you sure are at the right video. Now, as for part two, how to bypass the Samsung A20 and A20s FRP with a PC. Now, first, we're going to present to you with a solution that allows you to bypass Samsung A20 and A20s FRP on your PC with ease. Wondershare Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for Android features a direct solution allowing users like you to easily bypass your Samsung without putting yourselves in any kind of difficulty. I will provide you with a detailed guide explaining how Dr. Phone makes this process easier for you. So step one is just going to be to make sure that the latest version of Dr. Phone is downloaded on your computer. I'll launch the tool and select the screen unlock from the options available. And now make sure that your phone has an active Wi-Fi connection established and then proceed to the unlock Android screen slash FRP option that you're going to find on your screen. And then select the option Google FRP lock from the available options on the next screen and then check the first option of Android in the provided list. And as you select Android 6, 9, and 10, tap on start from there. And then connect your Samsung A20 or A20s through a USB cable. As it successfully connects your computer, a tool displays a message across a pop-up asking for confirmation of the successful connection. On clicking confirm, it will send a message across your locked Samsung A20 and A20s. On getting a notification across your locked device, you just follow the on-screen instructions and tap view. As you get directed to the Samsung App Store, install or open the Samsung internet browser to add the URL at drphonetoolkit.com in the browser. And as a new page opens up, click on the Android 6, 9, and 10 button and proceed by clicking on the open settings button and then select the pin option on the next screen. I just need to select the default option of do not require on the next screen and then click on continue. Add a pin code and remember it. Make sure that you tap on skip on the next screen in order to proceed and then click on the back button until you view it back and to the Wi-Fi connectivity page. And then finally go ahead and click on next in order to proceed with the setup. Enter the pin code that uh, you previously set on your lock Samsung device and tap on continue. And then you will be required across the Google account sign in page where you will find a skip button. So tap on it in order to bypass the Google account on your Samsung A20 or A20s. Now as for part three, how to bypass Samsung A20 and A20s Google accounts without a computer. We're looking for a solution that does not include a computer or not, as we have a clear solution prepared just for you in order to bypass Samsung A20 and A20s Google account. I'll go through the steps that we're going to mention right ahead now. As for the first step, ensure that you have an active Wi-Fi connection. Uh, so tap on the let's go arrow and then agree to the terms and conditions by clicking next. And do not bring old data on your phone for now. Thus, uh, make sure that you tap on the skip this for now option and proceed. And then connect the locked Samsung A20 and A20s with the Wi-Fi connection and press next. As the phone checks for any updates, I select the option of use my Google account instead in order to revert back the let's go screen and turn off your device. And just long press the volume up and power buttons of your Samsung in order to lead to Android recovery mode and then select the option reboot system now uh, through the power button. I will again lead the let's go screen after a reboot. And you need to open the emergency call section and dial a number and then call it from there. And you need to then go back to the home screen and then click on and then proceed, accept the terms and skip any data updates on this device. As you get back to the Wi-Fi connectivity screen, click on add network in order to access the keyboard of your device and tap on settings icon that you find on the keyboard. And then just find the keyboard layout and feedback option in the settings. And th and then through the key tap feedback option, find sound and vibration, and then select the option. You need to select the answering and ending calls option, followed by the answer automatically button. On selecting the button, use two fingers, simultaneously select the five seconds and customize options. And then you will find the app info appearing on the screen. Select it and then proceed. You will find yourselves in the call settings screen. And then just tap on settings icon and select block numbers from the list. Click on the recent section and long press the emergency button that you previously dialed 
as a menu appears on your screen and then select the messaging icon. As you proceed to the next screen, click on the ellipsis icon and then select add or remove people. Enter the name of the contact and then tap on the plus icon to add it successfully. Hold and release the contact that you've added and then select add button that appears on the bottom left corner and then proceed by selecting add contact and add a name and Gmail email address that you need to click on the email icon on the contact screen and then tap skip before you click on the add an email option. Choose exchange and office 365 among the options and then enter the email address of the contact and then tap on the manual setup button and then select exchange on the next screen and then click on select in order to set the lock screen type. Then revert back to the network connectivity screen and click next and then provide have the lock screen set previously and click on skip in order to bypass the Google account FRP lock. And that would do it from there. And phew, this has been quite long, yet I do know that by now, we have your Google account FRP lock removed from your Samsung A20 or A20S. And if you like this video, hit that like button and we're always open to suggestions in the comment section. Uh, so please leave us any of your thoughts down below. And then subscribe to our channel also so that you're always up to date on the latest videos. Now, until next time, have a good one.